it was a great play. Um, you know, a, a tough one for an outfielder because it can be a little dangerous like that. But ball off bat, smoke, great jump it looked like. And to get underneath that ball, that's one of those difficult kind of straight on plays for an outfielder, especially coming in hot like that. So uh, it, it was obviously and, and a huge point of the game, obviously. Rough series against Baltimore. You lost two more guys to the IL today. What did you think about the way your team responded? Yeah, it was great. Um, credit Domingo for going out there. It wasn't perfect by any means with some of the walks, obviously, but he gave us what we needed, you know, and was able to hold them down. I thought overall he threw the ball pretty well, made pitches when he had to, and kind of set the tone for us. Um, you know, got the long ball a little bit there. One other big run. Um, and we were able to make it stand up, and the bullpen came in to finish it off. So, um, yeah, it was it was good to get back uh, back out there and and get one in the win column. With Ann Duhar, what can you tell us about that injury, and how long do you expect him to be out? Yeah, so it's it's a small labrum tear. Um, so we're gonna treat it conservatively for a couple weeks um, and see how he responds to it. And then at that point, uh, you know, make a decision which surgery could be in play, which would obviously compromise his season. Um, there is some optimism, though, that um, he would respond to the to the kind of rehab protocol, I guess you'd say. Because um, when he did it, he did it diving back into the bag the other day. He stayed in the game, was able to, you know, do all his throws in between innings. Um, he He's... His physical test with the doctor is actually really good. Um, so there is some optimism that um, if treated conservatively, he can respond and, and come back and play. So, But we'll, we'll know that in a couple weeks. Uh, Ron, uh, Dan and Ron. What do you do with third base? Is it DJ, the, the guy for now? Yeah, DJ, um, you know, certainly would get the bulk of the playing time there. Obviously, Tyler Wade up here now and... Um, yeah, we'll just, and then, you know, see what's going on with Miggy there. And when did this all materialize, I guess? Uh, with Kind of uh, during the game. So he actually, I, I didn't know about his shoulder. He, I, I didn't have him in the lineup today. It was just a day off. And then uh, he didn't he didn't go out for his um, uh, ground balls and stuff. And, he, you know, he got some treatment. So they sent him to get the MRI. And then that's when we, we learned of it. Ron. Uh, given the way the last few days uh, have gone, when Judge makes that play and falls on the wrist, do you worry at all about uh, another injury? Sure. Um, you know, because that's one of those dangerous plays for an outfielder, especially coming straight on like that. It's hard for, for them sometimes to get underneath that ball to make the play and not hurt themselves. I, I felt like I saw it pretty well, and I... I felt like I knew he was fine, um, but but definitely uh, one of those that you kind of hold your breath on. Uh, Brian, to the right. You mentioned the start from Herman, but looking at what the bullpen did, is that your ideal path through a game with what you got out of the bullpen tonight? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, those guys were all lined up and, you know, had really good lanes for all of them, we felt like. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's obviously – you know, one of the strengths of our club, and those guys were lined up and ready to go. And but the, it started with Mingo being able to get them there to get the ball to those guys, and they they were able to finish it off. Anyone else? Dan. Was it encouraging to see Chapman throw like he did you know, after we asked you about his velocity? You know, in, the, in his first outing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought he was. Re I mean, obviously, really efficient coming and pounding the zone. Um, you know, and and look like there was good life on the fastball. You know, I wasn't overly concerned with it. You know, I think as as I kind of said to you guys, but good to see him come in and and start to push it up a little bit and look like his stuff. You know, uh, was crisp, but and filling up the strike zone. And McLaver did was did he get spiked or was it? I'm not sure. It, it, maybe something, but I he he was fine. Because we were a little concerned about that, obviously, too. Um, a bang-bang play like that. But when he came in, when he, he was fine. 